Okay, I've measured. <clears throat> Days work here. I've measured. This is 20 by 40, if I recall correctly. So this is a large space. Um, my next stage, of course, after the trees are done, is to get all these tiny stumps down. You see, they're all over the place, like speckled everywhere. They're, they're, they're probably going to be easy to pull out. They're not. They're not hardwood. They're very softwood. Uh, this is a jungle over here. I'm not sure what to do with that, except leave it. Um, over here, I've been working steadily. Um, I believe I have saved that that uh, that tree there. I think it's uh, I forgot what it was called, but it's um, it's one of a kind out here. I don't see it anywhere else. So it was covered in vines. And I think I've pretty much cured it, um, and I've got to take these down. I've got to take those two down, those are oaks, before I do any building. And uh, largely, I'm gonna be putting, putting it over here. You can see I've cut a path. Head trimmer does wonders. <laughs> this was all bush just covered over like that. And uh, the head trimmer's cleared it up. Of course, I've gotta clean that up, but uh, there's one man against nature here. <laughs> it's all I can do, just do everything by hand. And that thing is getting huge. All right, so that's the progression. I'm gonna be building right here. Um, and I've thought a lot about which direction and what shape and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be a, a little bit of time before I can get to that point. goes it's stuck on these vines incredible strength of those vines Whew, I just pulled on it just a little bit from one of the leading vines that's what I got that's some pretty soil right there you can see where it turns orange to black that is planting soil Okay, I know I haven't given an update in a while. I've been looking for work and trying to get a job because the real estate market sucks right now and that's where I work. So, update. As you can see behind me, the field has been detrenched of stumps. Um, did it over there as well. Um, that's not me. I actually hired somebody for that. They came out and ground the stumps down. And I know some people are going to say you shouldn't grind the stumps if you're going to build on it. Well, I'm not putting concrete on it. So I don't even worry about it. <clears throat> so these holes, what I was going to do is go through and fill them. 
But instead, I'm gonna hire a guy for, for uh, 700 bucks to come in and do a series of things for me with his skid steer. He's going to level this entire area. Now I say level, but also flatten. He is going to move that big wall of brush right there, which really is seven feet tall. I know you really can't see in this context, but it's seven feet tall. He's gonna move that to the other side over here where all that junk brush is. First, he's gonna clear all that. He's gonna get his skid steer and just scoop all that that way toward the back and then move the pile. And then he's going to flatten this whole area here. Upon doing that, um, I will have an eight by 12 area that we're gonna build our first tiny cabin. I'm creating enough space to um, create another one. So you'll get some video of me building the foundation uh, and see how I do it. I'll maybe set the GoPro up and make it a little more professional now that things have slowed down a little bit. But um, that's it for now. I'll catch up with you later.